Welcome to Practice Better. In this tutorial, we'll go over setting up your team's roles and permissions. First, let's create a role. Roles will allow you to restrict what settings and resources team members have access to in their portal. You can create one role for multiple team members or create specific roles for individuals. Let's start by navigating to My Profile, My Team. Then let's click Add Role and select the role type. A practitioner role will allow your team member to create and manage resources of their own, as well as conduct sessions with their clients. An administrative role will allow your team member to manage resources on behalf of practitioners. For example, a scheduling assistant can create appointments on behalf of a nutritionist on your team. Let's select the practitioner role and give the role a name. Now, you can set the permissions for this role. You can use our permission presets by clicking Use Presets. And once you've selected a preset, you can still choose to add or remove permissions as needed. You can choose to enable all, or you can click on the drop down to customize the permissions for each section. Certain permissions are related to others and will auto enable another set of permissions if selected. For example, enabling the client's booking and packages view bookings permission will also enable the client's basic information view permission. You can also choose to restrict access to specific client records by role by using tags. This will be helpful if you have team members who work with specific clients in your practice. For example, if I restrict access to specific clients with a downtown location tag, any practitioner assigned to this role will also be restricted to only accessing clients with this tag. When you have finished customizing the permissions, click Submit. If you would like to duplicate a role, click on the three dots next to it and select Duplicate. Once you have created a role, you can then assign it to a team member. You can also change a user's role at any time. Click Edit Role and select one from the Role drop-down menu to choose from a list of pre-existing roles. Now that you have assigned a role to your team member, you can further restrict a user by additional tags by enabling this setting. If the base role also has a client tag restriction, then the team member will only have access to clients with both the tag in the base role and the tag specified here. For example, we previously created a role for nutritionists with a downtown location tag restriction. In addition, each nutritionist may have access to a specific subset of clients at the downtown location. In this instance, you can create a tag for each practitioner, for example, Jane's clients, which can then be applied directly to their role this way, your team member will only have access to clients who have both the downtown location tag and the Jane's clients tag applied to them. Next, we can customize team member access. Team member access refers to the resources created by other team members that are accessible to this user. The team member access setting defaults to their own records and resources. However, you can customize this user's team access to all team members, specific team members, or you can customize specific permissions for specific team members using advanced permissions. All team member access means that this user will have full access to all team member resources with the ability to view and modify resources. Specific team members means that you are only granting full access to specific team members. The advanced option allows you to customize a user's access to different team member resources. Use the Adjust Permissions for Pick list and select and customize a team member's access to other members of your account. The permission available will be a subset of the permissions defined in the base role. For example, if the nutritionist role does not include the ability to create invoices, then the permission to create invoices will not be available in the Advanced Permissions list. In another scenario, you may want a team member to be able to view your calendar, but not have permission to create sessions and personal events on your behalf. You can also use the bulk actions button to quickly enable or disable the user's access to other team members' resources. Click update once you are done. You are able to edit your roles and customize permissions for team members at any time to suit the requirements of their role in your practice. This concludes this video on managing roles and permissions.